So, I was thinking between the football thing. and bands, coach, nominated, coach, and yeah. cars doing a lot of stuff. It's a good week, yeah. and yeah. we're second to none. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> but weather-wise, I mean, we've been dealing with some rain and some more rain headed yeah. this way. We're getting a brief break right now, but as we get to this time tomorrow night, we're going to have to be on the lookout for a few more showers and storms, a few of which could be on the strong side, possibly some severe weather. There's a current radar, and as you can see, all the rain has moved out. It is quiet right now, but this is how it looked earlier today. This is a 12-hour loop. There you see the rain. It comes drops a lot of rainfall and there it goes. So like I said, we're going to get a break here for a little while. This time tomorrow night, we're going to probably start seeing some rain developing and pushing through. Take a look at some of these rainfall totals. We had a lot of rain in Baton Rouge, almost five inches. Are you kidding me? Over an inch in Hammond, a quarter of an inch in Slidell, right around a half inch in Gulfport, near an inch in uh, Biloxi coming in at 1.85, uh, 2300 at the airport. Uh, no no uh, raining there at Homa. And, uh, almost nine tenths of an inch there in Boothville. So everyone got some rain temperature wise. Temperatures have cooled after the rain passed. So these numbers actually occurred in the evening. Lots of 60s on the map, low 60s. And then uh, earlier this morning, right around, let's say 10 o'clock or so, we were hovering right around this reading here. Uh, 70 in Hammond, 75 in Slidell, 73 at the lake front, or Gulfport, 75 at the lakefront. Probably going to be a little bit warmer tomorrow. A couple of spots may see some sunshine. Take a look at the temperature map. Pretty uniform. Again, the air mass is kind of uniform right now. Temperatures in a range between 60 and about 65. There you see 60 in Slidell, 61 in Hammond, 62 in Galliano, 64 in Biloxi, Boothville, and 65 in Bogalusa. So I think temperatures are going to drop maybe a little bit more than a level off, but notice the winds off the Gulf of Mexico. Once again, those southerly winds that's going to take that Gulf moisture, move it across the area, probably going to get some fog development that's going to spread across the area and take a look. We're down to one mile in Slidell, down to one mile in Hammond, down to seven in Homa. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. So just be on the lookout for some fog tomorrow morning as you make your way out and about. So some partial clearing for tonight, dense fog. And then tomorrow, sun clouds trending a little bit warmer, probably upper 70s for many spots. A spotty shower possible mainly near the coast. And then really tomorrow night through Saturday, we've got that risk for some severe weather. All compliments of what's going on in the upper levels. This is that infamous atmospheric river here, bringing all that tropical moisture from the Pacific, pushing it overhead. This area of low pressure is going to be tracking more toward the north. We've got this system right about here, which is going to start making its way more toward the east, and that's what's going to bring our next uh, chance of rain. Take a look. Here's how it's going to play out. So again, our severe weather risk is going to be late tomorrow night, heading into Saturday by tomorrow morning, some clouds, some fog, maybe a stray spotty shower. And then tomorrow afternoon, notice we start to cloud up, continuing with maybe a spotty shower. And there you have it, 1215. We start to see the rain uh, moving through. Again, that's because that area of low pressure I showed you, which is near California, that's going to start passing. So this is going to be our best time late Friday night, early Saturday morning to probably about lunchtime where we could see some severe weather. And right now, if this model verifies, that's going to be about it for Saturday. We could see some sun later on Saturday. Notice we do have the slight risk for some severe weather. Hail and tornadoes will be possible. Lower to mid 60s tonight. Dense fog tomorrow, mid to upper 70s, a stray shower. Maybe some sunshine here and there and your seven day forecast. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say we get rain on Saturday morning, then we dry out Saturday afternoon and maybe some more rain Sunday morning. And then we do dry out Monday into Tuesday, some sunshine and seasonal on Monday with a high right around 62. All